Cardiovascular disease is currently one of the leading causes of death in the United States and also around the world. Unlike you know, other diseases, it's something that's a reflection of a person's lifestyle and it tends to develop over a long period of time. So I think the key to addressing this problem is a uh, non-invasive screening procedure that can be used by you know, cardio cardiologists as well as you know, people at home. About 20% of all resting uh, EKGs that are taken are equivocal. Maybe there's something there and maybe there's not something there. So if you add on top of the resting EKG, which is an electrical measure, you measure a mechanical measure of the heart, then, uh, and people have shown this, that that gives you a better indication of maybe the compliance of the heart or how facile it is. And now on top of that, if we add this little simple addition, we put something up on the forehead. And so now we no longer have cardiac health, we have cardiovascular health. So the general idea is that when the heart's beating, uh, cardiac induced mechanical vibrations can be measured from the surface of the body. So using accelerometers, we can measure something that's called the uh, pulse wave velocity, which is an indicator of uh, a person's cardiac health. We use two accelerometers to measure a person's pulse wave velocity. So we, we have one uh, accelerometer right over the person's heart and the other one uh, on the person's head. So using these two accelerometers, we can measure the vibrations that propagate through a person's body caused by the heart. And then based on the, uh, the time delay or the, the time it takes for that pulse to travel, we can calculate the pulse wave velocity. I've always held the personal philosophy that research should be practical. So I think um, you know, through this research, the end goal is to develop a clinical device. And that's something that I'm very passionate about. I think you know, Clarkson University is, is rare in that you know, many of the professors are very friendly when you approach them and ask them for the opportunity to work in their labs. And I think you know, at a bigger university, that I, don't, I don't think every student will have necessarily have that opportunity.